reality is hitting me that I'm now a full-blown adult and there are things I need to think about and things I need to talk about. I'm going to go on with my MAC foundation in NW46. For the longest time I've always been not a one-man squad. <laughs> this is weird. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! I hope your New Year has been off to a great start i hope your new year has been amazing um, for those of you that have like goals and you know new year resolutions i hope that that is currently being put into motion so that you are able to actualize them but yeah happy new year and welcome to the channel today i haven't been to church in a while so in my head it's made sense that i do a chit chat get ready with me video so that i just prepare and go to church from there so for my makeup today i'm not going to do anything too serious i'm not a makeup artist i feel like i don't even know how to do makeup but i try to do my makeup in such a way that i i don't know these days i just like it looking simple and looking myself yeah let's let's get into it i'm going to start this video with just a bit of reflections and i know that sounds boring but please stay stay with me so to start my makeup this is weird to start my makeup i'm going to use this milk hydro group primer i feel like in every stage of everyone's life you learn from your past experiences so that you can make better decisions and better choices going forward so my 2022 rundown is more like a rundown of things i have learned pretty short and you know things that i feel like we should take away in 2023 specifically as women so i'm done with my primer i'm going to go on with my mac foundation in nw46 and this is the foundation i've been using for the longest time i really thought i was going to do like a what's it called a birthday vlog i don't know if some of you guys know my birthday was in december my birthday is december 25th and this is the second time in a row that i didn't get to spend my birthday with family i got a few of my girls together we had like a sleepover party which was amazing shout out to sneha toby jamaka adishola thank you guys so much for coming i really do appreciate it turning 24 <laughs> It's almost like reality is hitting me that I am now an oldie. I probably should stop looking here and just use my powder. I think it's hitting me that I'm now now an adult and, and I think that's why like I've been forced to actually reflect on 2022 so that I can make better decisions and better choices. Now that I'm 24, I feel grown. I feel like my priorities have changed. I feel like my choices in life have to change. Now I'm thinking of marriage, I'm thinking of investments. Prior to now, God bless my family, shout out to them. I'm not even going to say that my family has not played a very, very huge role in my life to ensure that I am where I am today in terms of like career and in terms of like, you know, just generally, even spiritually. And I thank God for their prayers. But now that I'm 24 and I've somewhat, not somewhat, but I've moved, reality is hitting me that I'm now a full blown adult and there are things I need to think about and things I need to talk about. <laughs> so for 2023, there are a couple of things that I learned, but three key things stood out to me and they were one, the importance of trusting God it has begun to teach me that sometimes his word doesn't come from prophecy his word doesn't come from dream it really comes from hearing his voice hearing him speak and that is something i really really tried to train myself to do in 2022 to hear the voice of the lord for myself and trust that voice till the very end if you know me very well you know that i probably deal with like a lot of anxiety and fear of the future and fear of the unknown and i'm just like god can i just see just give me a peekaboo of what the future is looking like 2022 taught me that if at all anything i need to begin to get into that phase of maturity where i hear god for myself and i trust her that it is the voice of the lord that i have heard so for sure i definitely you know that's something i learned the second thing i learned in 2022 sorry i'm just dabbing so much it's just that sometimes when i do my foundation i just don't cover some parts very well anymore i'm done with my foundation now gonna head over to my concealer so moving on the second thing i learned in 2022 was the importance of friendship and family this might sound very very cliche but it gets to a point in your life where you actually realize how much you neglect family and how much you neglect the power of friendship 
for the longest time I've always been not a one man squad <laughs> but I've just always not been that type of person with so many friends and when you're like me it's very easy to fall into that rabbit hole of feeling like you do not need anyone but that's a lie that's a big fat lie there are some friends of mine that have taught me that regardless of distance regardless of circumstances regardless of anything it's very important to maintain friendships and maintain connections with family i know that last year was the year that i spoke to my mom and my dad the most like through calls and god bless them so much i built a certain kind of relationship with my siblings as well that i know that i probably haven't built in the previous years so shout out to special special i know you're going to watch this video and i'm just going to give you a shout out because like special just regardless of whether you call back or you you're not able to speak at that moment special would call you and i feel like that is something i really really admire about her to go through life is not a one-man thing you need a community of people you need a community of friends that would actually help you go through that process you need healthy relationships you need a community of people more specifically female friendship there's just this general mindset of like guys saying it's better to have female friends and women are like it's better to have male friends i understand that it has its pros it also has its cons but please if you are like me that just used to neglect things like this please for sure make conscious efforts to invest into ensuring that you build strong female connections and strong female friendships yeah my concealer is drying out already another thing i learned in 2022 still falls under you know the importance of family and friendships but this trickles down to like building a network for yourself it felt like networking has just been very i don't know when i moved and there were like networking sessions like trust me i never really really wanted to attend but sometimes you go for events and you build a network and then you realize that those networks you have you know built somehow become very very valuable friendships i realized i didn't tell you guys the concept that i was using i'm currently using the elf concealer in the shade deep chestnut 2023 here we are the big question every time the new year comes we usually have new year resolutions new year goals new year ambitions new year whatever it is that you may want to call it but since 2020 it feels like the lord has always giving me a theme for the year like he does that so that i don't limit my brain to setting numbers and setting milestones or setting goals that i have set for myself it almost feels like he gives me these themes to guide and direct the entire year for 2021 what the lord gave me as the theme for the year it wasn't even a theme it was more like a scripture so seek ye first the kingdom of god and all of that things shall be added unto you for 2022 setting solid foundations and that was the phrase that carried me the entire year and i knew that the process and journey i was going through was to set solid foundations in every aspect of my life be it emotionally spiritually relationship wise finance wise and then coming into 23 i began to think again like what's the direction for 2023 and the theme i received was growth consistency and discipline um, it made so much sense to me because it's almost like the lord was taking me on a journey where i had to seek him first set the right solid set the right foundations that i need for the rest of my life and then right now i'm in this phase where i need to grow i need to be disciplined and i need to be consistent so everything i plan to do this year i plan to grow in it i plan to be consistent in it i need i plan to be disciplined in it because yes i have the right foundation i understand what it is that i'm doing in life but it's another thing for you to have that foundation um but how do you build on it and i feel like this is i mean coming into the last season where i need to build on certain areas of my life and for someone that i don't know i've been struggling with consistency i've been struggling with discipline i've been struggling with like just growing as long as i put in the work this year i have nothing to worry about i do not want to be the same sandra only that i was last year 
it begs the question how do i actually plan to be a better version of myself in the year 2022 based off the learnings that i have taken from 2022 one way i plan to be a better version of myself in 2023 is betting on myself going by my guts pushing myself to make very 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 hard decisions if you know me you know that i'm a very i'm very conservative i think sometime late last year i saw someone's post and he was saying something about doing things scared doing things even in that state of fear and for 2023 i'm going to make very 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 hard decisions some projects that i have currently in the works that I have kept in the drawer for like three years um there are things i want to do that i haven't done them simply because i'm just you know scared of doing them in this year i plan to better myself i plan to not even better myself i plan to do things scared though i have no clear picture of how i'm going to do it how the funding will come how everything will play out i plan to bet on myself and i can't really wait to take you guys on this journey with me to just also learn from the process and encourage you to set your mind on something and do it scared regardless of how large or how grand the idea may seem and how impossible it might seem but do it scared you know to set my face with my setting powder the revolution banana dip can't believe i've never drawn my brows what's the time i want to explore more i want to try new food i want to go cycling i want to go hiking i want to be more adventurous and that reminds me of like last year december 2022 i'm still confused with this whole last year thing 2022 december um sneha and my friend sneha invited me out to go psych, um, hiking and I enjoyed every bit of it I was just like have I been like what have I been doing since like why haven't I gone hiking before like I just realized that oh my god I think I'm actually like an adventurous type of girl like, I want to just develop more hobbies for the longest time when you ask me what's your hobby what do you like doing and I'm sure some of you guys can relate you just be like oh but it's really not good it's really not good some of us our hobbies are just you know spending time on social media but we need to develop hobbies outside of social media we need to develop hobbies and find ourselves i think that's another thing i need to talk about you know the importance of finding yourself finding things you truly love not because other people are doing but because deep within your heart and your soul that's something that you know is part of your dna and it's part of what you really really like um so for 2023 i definitely want to develop more hobbies be it reading cycling going hiking and being adventurous for sure i need you know this girl has been very very you know conservative for a very long time and i think right now i'm just in that phase of my life where i just want to spread my wings and just soar and quickly take off this part of my makeup and get to reasonable points then i'll continue with the video <laughs> uh in the next scene of the video uh, you might be wondering sandra why are you wearing a shirt i'm wearing a shirt because you would not believe what happened to me whilst i was filming my phone my camera just shut down and everything i was filming and everything i said just went to the mode. I think the last point, because I have been talking so much, <laughs> I think it's the most important point is to learn how to breathe. The one thing I used to do is first thing I wake up, I would not pick up my phone, I would not touch my laptop, I would literally just take time to journal, take time to just think, reflect. Um, last year, I started breathing in and breathing out for like 10 seconds every morning. I stopped and I think it's something I'm bringing back. We need to ensure that we don't get lost in this very, very, very busy world. Yes, I have goals. Yes, I have ambitions. Yes, there are things I want to do. But one thing I do not want to do in the process is to lose myself. What are you doing first thing in the morning? Are you just waking up to get onto your laptop? are you waking up just to get on your phone are you waking up just to like start working are you waking up to just do something or you're waking up and actually breathing in and breathing out and thanking god for the gifts of life in itself that's the most important thing i'll actually really bring into 23 and our advice for you as well please take time to breathe it's very 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 important it's important that you breathe not just for the sake of breathing but to create a sense of self-awareness around you i'm pretty much ready i didn't want my makeup to be too heavy i just wanted it very simple you know just simple subtle nothing serious i'm just going to get my coat i am late for church i'm <laughs> very very late anyways if you enjoyed this video please give this video a like smash the subscribe button down below and i'll see you guys in my next video <laughs>